I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube with your seven day Pacific Islands forecast. All eyes are on Vanuatu with severe tropical cyclone Lola, which just before we hit record was upgraded to the highest level, category five. That's remarkable because we do sometimes get tropical cyclones before the official season starts on November 1st. But Category 5, I'm pretty sure, is a one for the history books as the storm forms and gets deeper moving in towards Vanuatu so early in the season. The good news is that for those further south, uh, New Caledonia, Norfolk Island and New Zealand, the cyclone looks like it'll stop just about the time it gets to New Caledonia. So there's a little bit of good news in there at least. Uh, here's how it'll look later on this evening uh, on Tuesday locally and that's late tonight about midnight Monday for Hawaii. You can see it coming in here about 10 o'clock or a little bit earlier than that might be sort of around 9 o'clock this evening you'll start to get the worst of it for Vanuatu but really it's after midnight local time that the cyclone passes right over the top and Wednesday morning starts to move away. Port Vila is just here, the worst of the winds just to the north. At the moment the winds are averaging sustained at 210 kilometers an hour and gusting up to a remarkable 260. So it's slow moving as well, only moving at about walking speed, eight kilometers an hour as it moves in tonight. That increases the risk of damage as it lingers longer. So this is a serious storm for Vanuatu, no stranger to tropical storms, but Category 5 this early in the season, definitely something to keep an eye on. Now the tracking here, this was just before it was upgraded to Category 5. But even if it remains 3 or 4, that is still a major storm coming in tonight at that slow speed. But it's likely to be Category 5 or 4 as it comes through. The good news, it's just north of Port Vila and likely to skirt around the edges. And as it comes into Noumea by Friday, it should no longer be a tropical cyclone. Here is the rain for the next seven days. The dark blue is two to 300 millimeters. So that is a lot of rain. And of course, if the storm lingers any longer, those totals go right up. And if it moves through a bit faster, the totals drop. But that's a serious amount of rain. Most of it though to the north of Port Vila, which is some good news. And the official tracking from Fiji, this may well change as we go through today. So please do keep up to date with the very latest from them. But category five, as it comes in to make landfall, that is very serious, a serious storm for Vanuatu tonight. All right, let's get into the forecast. So here we are on Wednesday, showing the, the full tracking right through till Friday when it is no longer a tropical cyclone. But a major storm up here around the Vanuatu area, but it skirts away from Fiji. It might be cloudy though in Fiji for the next couple of days on the outer edges and maybe a little bit breezy, but not too bad. Actually, mostly dry in this zone, all thanks to high pressure down towards New Zealand. Now by Thursday, the low, which doesn't look very stormy because we've zoomed out quite a bit, but uh, once you zoom in, the air pressure does get lower, but the system is weakening by then. Now the red line you see, that is measuring air thickness. So when you see that red line, it's usually hotter, more humid. The air air is heavier. So this is coming southwards, being pulled down by the storm. So you'll notice that around Samoa and Fiji in the days ahead, it will get even hotter and more humid. So by Friday, it's now New Caledonia's turn to get the wind and rain, mostly rain, coming from the system. And then further to the south, another area of low pressure. And those two are going to merge uh, over the weekend. Now Norfolk Island will be right in the middle of that, getting uh, the leftovers of Lola and that new low which will deepen for a time into a new system. Meanwhile, the red line up here, that continues to be pulled down southwards so that humidity increases around Vanuatu. That's usually the case after a storm has passed through. So by Saturday, there you go, you can see that line being pulled down into Fiji, pulled down towards New Caledonia, and now Lola and that other low are deepening right over the top or nearby to Norfolk Island. So that is uh, going to bring in some rain for you at Norfolk. Fairly dry though elsewhere, Rarotonga to Tonga to Fiji, not looking too bad. There are a few thunderstorms though for the Fiji area. Now let's go into Sunday as that low deepens, only for a time, this is probably about as deep as it gets, 997 hectopascals. Now when Cyclone Gabriel, this is not a cyclone, but when Cyclone Gabriel was over the top of Norfolk Island way back earlier in the year, it was 958 hectopascals from memory, um, around about that mark. So this is a very weak system and it doesn't have a big southerly. So it's going to fall apart. It's not going to get any deeper, we don't think, 
but there might be some rain coming in this weekend or early next week for the top of New Zealand. In fact, you see it here next Monday and the low still stuck over Norfolk, but starting to unravel now because there is high pressure all the way around the bottom part of it. So that helps weaken it. And up to the tropics, downpours around Samoa for Pango Pango, for Apia, and down uh, towards Tonga, although not so much for Tonga. Tonga's still actually fairly dry along with Nui at the moment, and it's not too bad in Rarotonga as well. Let's head over to the Northern Hemisphere. I know this moves very quickly, but the idea is just to glance here at Honolulu and see what's going on. And a big storm just to the north here, but it only brushes by with a few showers. And we don't talk much about Japan, but we've got a few storms coming off from that, heading off to the Aleutian Islands. But again, normal weather for this time of the year. And the final map is the seven day rainfall, which unfortunately covers part of Hawaii. But I can tell you there's not much around Hawaii. It is fairly dry, just five to 10 millimeters coming through up here. Further to the south, the area that you wanna keep an eye on, the purple and the dark blues. So you see that here to the north of Samoa. So not so wet in Samoa for the week ahead. Very dry in Tonga, only a few, few millimeters coming through for you. But that dark blue streak around Vanuatu and down here towards Norfolk Island showing that low is going to produce some heavy rain. That is all from me. Please take extreme care in Vanuatu. Follow the updates of your local government and of course uh, the official warnings from the Vanuatu Met Service and the Fiji Met Service. We'll be back again tomorrow Wednesday with our next update but if you do need updates between now and then weatherwatch.co.nz will have them and also our Twitter account or X as we're supposed to call it now, Weatherwatch NZ will be doing plenty of updates on severe tropical cyclone Lola. Please uh, take extreme care. We'll see you tomorrow.